Hello, my name is Charlie and I work for the Royal Parks on a project called Mission Invertebrates, where we help people to discover, celebrate and protect the important invertebrates that call London's Royal Parks home. In this video, we're going to be making these fluffy bee fly pom-poms while learning a lot about what bee flies actually are. So bee flies are often mistaken for bees, but they're actually a species of fly. They mimic or look like a bumblebee to help protect them from being eaten by predators. They're covered in brownish yellow hairs, which makes them look really fluffy. So a pom-pom is the perfect craft for turning into a bee fly. I'll tell you more about bee flies during this video, but first let's take a look at the materials that we'll need to make this craft. We will need some cardboard, some scissors, a pen, I've got a thin one and a thicker one for colouring in, a glass or cup to draw around, a smaller circle such as a coin to draw around, some wool, some paper and some PVA glue. Firstly we need to take our cardboard and our cup or glass and we're going to draw around that circle. So just take our pen and draw one of our big circles and then we need two of those so we'll draw it around it again to create two big circles. Then we need our smaller circle and place that right in the centre of one of the big circles. So just draw around that one as well. And then we need to draw two lines joining the big circle to the small circle to make a sort of letter C shape and we can cut that out. Then once we've cut out this letter C shape, we want two of these so we can trace around it on our second circle. And then we can cut this one out as well. Great, so now we've got our two letter C shapes and we can put them together like this and that will be our pom-pom maker. And what's great is that we can reuse this. So once you've made this pom-pom maker, you can make several pom-poms with this. To make our pom-pom, put the two pieces of cardboard together so the holes line up, and then grab one end of the piece of wool and hold that in place and start wrapping around one side of the letter C. Try not to do this too tightly because that would make the next step a bit more tricky. We want to continue wrapping this wool all the way around our pom-pom maker to create lots of loops all the way around the letter C. So this stage is really fun. We're going round and round our pom-pom maker. We want the layer of wool to be quite thick, so it can take a while. So while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a bit more about bee flies. Bee flies are a sign of spring, typically seen flying around between March and May. But with climate change, They've been recorded earlier and earlier each year, sometimes as early as mid-February. They can be seen in gardens, parks and woodland clearings, visiting flowers such as primroses, violets and dandelions. That long spike sticking out of the front of its face might seem a bit scary, but bee flies are completely harmless. That spike is called a proboscis, and it's like a long straw which the bee fly uses to drink nectar when visiting flowers. Their fluffy bodies pick up lots of pollen when they visit flowers, and when they find more food, that pollen gets transferred over to new flowers, helping to pollinate our plants. Once we're nearing the other end of the pom-pom maker, we want to make sure that we've got an even thickness of wool all the way around the pom-pom maker, and just go over any bits that feel a bit thinner. Once it's all thick all the way around, you can take your scissors and snip off that bit of wool. Then we just hold that in place. And then we can pull apart the two pieces of cardboard. And then we'll grab our scissors and cut all the way along that outside edge of our pom-pom maker. So 
So with this step, just be careful that your fingers are out of the way of the scissors. And we'll just work our way along, cutting the wall in small sections. At the end of spring, the female needs to lay her eggs. As you can see in the video, the female bee fly does this by hovering over some dry ground where a solitary bee has made its nest. She then flicks her body to throw an egg into the nest of the solitary bee. When the egg hatches, the bee fly crawls further into the solitary bee's nest, where it finds and eats the solitary bee's young. This might seem a bit gruesome for the solitary bees, but bee flies and solitary bees have been living together for millions of years, and bee flies don't have a negative effect on the numbers of solitary bees. So now I'm just making my last few cuts and I'm getting to the end of the wall. And then we don't want any wool to fall out of that gap that we created. So just push anything in if you need to. Next, open up the cardboard again and take a bit of wool and run it all the way around in between the two pieces of cardboard. And then we can tie a knot to hold everything in place. So just loop one end of the wool around the other end. And I'm doing that twice and I'm pulling it nice and tightly. You can ask a grown-up to help you with your knots if you want. And then just to be extra secure, I'm going to go around the other side as well and do another knot. So we want to make our knots nice and tight to make sure that none of that wool falls apart and our pom-pom will be nice and steady. Then we can remove those two pieces of cardboard and we can use our pom-pom maker again. If you have any straggly bits of wool, then you can grab your scissors and give your pom-pom a bit of a haircut and that will just make our pom-pom nice and rounded. So here's our pom-pom, but we're not finished yet because we need to add two wings, a proboscis and eyes to turn this pom-pom into a bee fly. To make the wings, I'm drawing a long teardrop shape so this is about seven centimetres long, and that will be the shape of one of our wings. Then I'm going to fold this card over, and when I cut it out, we'll have two of these shapes. So bee flies are a species of fly, and the scientific name for flies is diptera, meaning die, meaning two, and terra, meaning wings. So that's unlike bees and wasps and butterflies who have four wings. So all flies have two wings. And now that includes our pom-pom bee fly. So the most common species of bee fly that we get in the UK is called the dark edged bee fly. And that's because on its wings, it's got a dark pattern on one side of its wing. So I'm just drawing that in here. I'm drawing a squiggly line in, and then I'll try and copy that in reverse. So like the mirror image of that. So when it's on the pom-pom, it, it will look symmetrical. So another squiggly line there. Now I'm using a thicker pen to colour in one side of the wing to give it that dark edge. Perfect, so now I've got my two wings and we can attach them onto the pom-pom. So if we open up some of the strands of wool near where we've tied that up at the top, we can add a dab of glue, insert one of our wings and give that a squeeze to hold that in place. So we want to do the same on the other side. So try and find the opposite side, pull apart the wall and we can add a dab of glue there too. Then we can take our second wing and put that in place and give that all a good squeeze as well. Then, to make our proboscis, I'll take our scrap bit of card and cut out a long, thin rectangle. Then we can roll this up from one corner. So just take a corner and fold that over and start rolling that up to make a sort of long straw shape. And this will be the bee fly's proboscis, which is quite a distinctive part of the bee fly. And it helps the bee fly to drink nectar from flowers such as primroses. We can add a little bit of glue 
just to hold that in place. And hold that together until the glue dries. So you can make this out of black card or you can colour your card in with a black pen. Just like with the wings, we can find a place at the front of the pom-pom, open up the wool and add a dab of glue. Then we can position our proboscis in place and give that a good squeeze as well. Finally, it's time to add the eyes. So I'm just drawing two black circles on a piece of paper. You could also use the circles from a hole punch and color those in black. And then I'm cutting those shapes out to make two eyes. Then we want to add just a tiny tab of glue onto the backs of the eyes and then place those onto a pom-pom just above where the proboscis is. And then we can do the same with the other eye. Just add a little dab of glue onto the back and then stick that in place onto our pom-pom. So that completes our bee fly pom-pom. They're really fun to make and they look great too. I hope you enjoy making your own bee flies and keep your eyes peeled to try and find a bee fly flying around in the wild. There's loads more craft activities and information about invertebrates on our website and on the Royal Parks YouTube channel. And if you'd like to share photos of your own bee flies, then you can do so on our social media channels.